Our next question is from Travis. Mike, what do you make of the transfiguration? Does the story have parallels in Jewish literature? And do you have an opinion on why John did not include such an incredible event in his gospel? Well, my thoughts about the transfiguration, again, are, are in unseen realm. But uh, I'll say this about the question. Uh, John, of course, wasn't under, under any obligation to include it. So I don't think there's anything shocking about him not including it. Uh, only two gospels, for instance, include the birth account of Jesus. Okay, why, why don't all four of them have it? I would think that's important, too, and pretty incredible, but they don't. Uh, only two are concerned with Jesus' genealogy. Again, if you're talking about the Messiah, the descendants from David, that's going to be pretty important, but only two of them have that. You know, the, the fact is every gospel writer has his own agenda, and that's not a negative word, by the way. He has his own agenda, his own purpose for writing, and, it, and, it, and they all have their own audience, their own specific audience in view. And those things dictate what they include or don't include. Now, that said, many scholars think John actually does allude to the transfiguration in John 1.14 when he says, we have seen his glory and the glory of the one and only who came from the Father, full of grace and truth. Well, if John is using the editorial we there, again, which I would think he probably is, uh, when did he get to see his glory? Well, at the transfiguration. You know, So a lot of people think it's it's at least an illusion, even though the account uh, is not actually included in the Gospel of John. But uh, as far as parallels, there, there's no specific parallel to the Transfiguration, although there are conceptual parallels. In other words, stories about the glorification of uh, certain individuals or the, the exaltation to divine status, theosis. I talk about this in Unseen Realm as well. You get, you get those kinds of, of, of stories uh, in Second Temple Jewish literature, but there's no specific parallel to the Transfiguration.